Lesson three, inequalities with x in the denominator. Number two, we have to solve the inequality. One on x is less than or equal to one over x minus one. Now you notice there's two of these in the denominator. So we'll multiply both sides by x squared times x minus one all squared. And that way we can not affect the inequality sign. So this becomes x squared times x minus 1 all squared times 1 on x is less than or equal to x squared times x minus 1 all squared times 1 over x minus 1. Now this x will cancel with this squared, so we'll have x outside of x minus 1 all squared is less than or equal to, now this x minus 1 will cancel with this one, so we'll have x squared outside of x minus 1. Taking this across the other side, we'll have x outside of x minus 1 all squared minus x squared into x minus 1 is less than or equal to 0. The highest common factor here is x outside of x minus 1 and we'll have inside an x minus 1 minus, now just an x, is less than or equal to 0. Now this simplifies down to x outside of x minus 1, and this becomes a negative 1 times a negative 1 less than or equal to 0. We can rearrange that inside and write this x outside of 1 minus x as less than 0. So we have quite a simple thing here to solve. And again, <coughs> what I'll do, I'll let y be this part here, so y, so we'll let y equal this x into 1 minus x, drawing our little graph, so the intercepts are 0 and 1, okay, we'll notice this is a parabola, which is going to go, a negative parabola, going, it's going to go up this way this time, the one there, and our little parabola is going to be negative in this region here and this region here. So we have now that the solution is x is less than 0 or x is greater than 1. And notice we don't have an equal sign here because we can't divide by 0. And we don't have an equal sign here because by putting in 1, we'll get a 0 again. So there's our solutions. x is less than 0, or x is greater than 1.